Thank you very much, uh, Compi and Master Sanwis. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Professor Biman Prasad, Chairman of uh, Fiji Waste Board, the Nalin Patel, members of the Fiji Waste Board, Managing Director, He's been uh, in this position longer than I've been in mine. <laughs> and he knows his job better than I am getting to know mine. <laughs> members of the uh, Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, honorable speaker, oh sorry, I thought I was still back in Parliament. Spent a whole week in Parliament last week, right next to the Speaker, but it was a good week. Dishambul Renach, great honor to be here this evening to celebrate with you this landmark achievement by Fiji Airways in their remarkable journey. The commissioning of these new full flight simulators is not just a significant achievement for Fiji Airways, but it is a great occasion, momentous occasion for our nation, Fiji. Fiji continues to, or Fiji Airways continues to set the bar high, not only in aviation, but also in its commitment to our people. The investment made in this state-of-the-art facility underscores the airline's dedication to technological advancement, operational excellence, and most importantly, the development of our local talent. This academy is more than just a training facility. It is a beacon of opportunity for Fijians, particularly for our women who have long been underrepresented in the aviation sector. The establishment of this facility right here in Fiji is a game changer. As Andre had uh, alluded to, removing barriers that have traditionally limited the participation of women in this field. By providing world-class training locally, Fiji Airways is empowering more Fijians to pursue careers in aviation without the need to travel overseas. This not only supports gender diversity, but also strengthens our workforce, contributing to the overall socioeconomic development of our nation. The investment in these simulators, totaling around $160 million, is a testament to Fiji Airways' confidence in our country's future. It represents a broader commitment to enhancing Fiji's position as a hub for aviation training in the Asia-Pacific region. This facility will attract trainees and pilots not only from Fiji, but from across the region and also from around the world, further establishing our nation as the center of excellence. I acknowledge the presence of uh, Professor Una from our own University of Fiji. producing a lot for our workforce. Tourism, which is a vital pillar of our economy, stands to benefit greatly from such uh, advancements as we're witnessing here. Fiji Airways today brings in over 65 to 70 percent of all visitors into Fiji, and their marketing spend 
globally is higher than any other entity that is promote, promoting travel and tourism in Fiji. Not too long ago, we were trying to find 160 million, and you have just spent 160 million. <laughs> Professor Viman Prasada to uh, endure a lot of criticism, just trying to find 160. The increased training capa capabilities of the Aviation Academy will ensure that we maintain the highest standards of safety and service, which are crucial in enhancing the travel experience of our visitors. This in turn strengthens our tourism industry, bringing more revenue and opportunities to our shores. Technological investments like these simulators are crucial in our journey towards a more resilient and diversified economy. They ensure that Fiji remains competitive on the global uh, stage, offering cutting edge training solutions that meet international civil aviation organization standards. Moreover, these investments aligned with our government's broader vision for sustainable development. Fiji Airways is not only a leader in aviation, but also a pioneer in environmental stewardship. As we celebrate the commissioning of these advanced simulators, let us also acknowledge the airline's ongoing efforts to reduce its carbon footprint, implement fuel efficiency measures and and partner with environmental organizations to safeguard our natural heritage. Fiji Airways is taking proactive steps towards aligning with the International Civil Aviation Organization's ambitious goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. I understand that the airline plans to venture into the use of uh, sustainable aviation fuel which will play a crucial role in reducing the environmental impact of air travel. This commitment to SAF is a bold and necessary step towards a future where aviation is both efficient and environmentally responsible. As part of its commitment to the environment, Fiji Airways pledges to plant one mangrove for every takeoff. Well. <laughs> We're trying to increase our sugar cane production and uh, we're going to be competing with them. Today, the dedicated staff of Fiji Airways have planted 79,000 mangrove plants, which play a critical role in carbon sequestration sequestration. Don't write these things. It is the uh, sort of balancing. Okay? Why don't we just say balancing? <laughs> Mangroves are exceptionally effective at this. Sequestering four times more carbon than any other plant. This initiative not only offsets carbon emissions, but also contributes to the preservation of our coastal eco, uh, ecosystems. Fiji Airways environments are not just beneficial for our nation, but also for our neighbors in the Pacific. These new simulators will enhance regional connectivity, allowing us to better serve and support the economies of our fellow Pacific Island nations. I've just come back from Tonga with the Pacific Island leaders uh, meeting, and they are looking to Fiji. They're looking for examples that we will show them on what to do, where to go, etc. And this is another great achievement in the pursuit of that. The facility strengthens our role as a leader in regional aviation, bringing us closer together as a region. 
The Academy's expanded capabilities will enable us to train pilots and engineers from across the Pacific, further solidifying Fiji's position as a hub for aviation training. This is an opportunity to uplift the entire region by providing world-class training right here in the heart of the Pacific. The investment in this facility translates directly to job creation and economic growth for our people. The expansion of the Fiji Airways Aviation Academy has generated numerous job opportunities from instructors and engineers to support staff and beyond. This facility is a catalyst for economic activity, benefiting local businesses and contributing to the broader prosperity of our nation. Fiji remains a prime destination for both foreign and domestic investments. The success of Fiji Airways in making such substantial investments in high-tech infrastructure underscores our nation's strong investment climate, particularly in sectors like aviation. In closing, I would like to congratulate Fiji Airways for their vision and leadership in establishing this world-class facility. It is a source of pride for our nation and a very clear indication of the potential that lies within our people. Let us continue to work together to build a brighter future for Fiji, where opportunities are abundant and our people can thrive in a rapidly changing world. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much.